And this morning, Ukraine is under siege with officials there reporting more than 100 Ukrainians, including civilians, were killed in the first full day of fighting with Russian forces. President Biden promising Russia will pay for bombarding major cities across the country in what he described as an unprovoked attack on a sovereign city. For a second straight night, Ukraine rocked by violence as Russia advances the largest European invasion since World War II. President Biden slamming Russian President Vladimir Putin for launching what he called a brutal, unjustified and premeditated attack, promising Russia will pay. Putin will be a pariah on the international stage. The president laying out stiff new sanctions in coordination with top allies. We will limit Russia's ability to do business in dollars, euros, pounds and yen. President Biden under pressure to unleash even harsher measures to cut Russia off from the global economy, though it's unclear if any sanctions could throw Putin off course. This is something he was planning all along. The U.S. estimates Russia has already fired more than 160 missiles into Ukraine, largely hitting military targets across the country. Ukraine's president says more than 130 soldiers were killed yesterday, hundreds more injured. And amid reports of civilian casualties, families are scrambling to get underground or out of the country. To see this happening to the country is just devastating. The U.S. believes Russia is trying to replace Ukraine's pro-Western government. President Vladimir Zelensky asking which countries are ready to fight with Ukraine. President Biden reinforcing American troops will not, though he ordered 7,000 more to Germany to defend NATO allies. Vladimir Putin will not cross a NATO border the way he's gone across this Ukrainian border. This morning, the world is rallying to support Ukraine. Thousands in Russia even taking the risk to condemn their own president's war. And president Biden is promising to protect Americans from possible Russian cyber attacks and from the even higher spike in gas and food prices the crisis could bring. Well, it's not just overseas where the pain is being felt. That's right. Right here in Northeast Ohio, friends and family of those in Ukraine are hoping for an end. Last night, the community gathered at St. Josephat Cathedral in Parma, praying for Ukraine and all of those stuck in the midst of the invasion. It was also the scene at Pokrova Ukrainian parish where the hallways became standing room only as the community prayed together. Many saying that Ukrainians have a strong faith in God and love of country and just want to see the violence over. This means a lot to Ukrainians. There have been pictures of Ukrainians kneeling in snow in, in Ukraine to pray for, for peace. It matters that the whole world knows we are a peace loving country. We, we don't attack our neighbors. In response to Russia's attack, the city of Cleveland released a joint statement with Global Cleveland and Cuyahoga County in support of Ukraine, saying, quote, we strongly condemn this attack that will result in the loss of innocent lives and is a direct threat to the freedom of so many, adding, we want to remind the world that the city of Cleveland and Cuyahoga County, Ohio, are here to embrace them with open arms.